Hello everyone, and welcome back to the latest Minty Reacts, and we are here for the next two episodes of The Legend of Korra, Book 2, Spirits, episodes number 3 and 4, titled Civil Wars. Uh, part 1 and 2, actually. Yeah, Civil War Part 1 and 2. And I will admit, I was a little, little rough on the last two episodes. I will admit that I was a little rough on the last two episodes. I appreciate all of you in the comments uh, explaining the context of some things and not really like spoiling anything, so thank you for that, but kind of like more explaining the purpose of this season. I was just in a bad mood, <laughs> I guess, last week and I didn't realize it. So we're here now in a much better headspace for this for these episodes, um, understanding what's going on here. I actually really like what's going on here now, kind of understanding what's happening with the characters i i actually like what's happening here and what's going on here however i will still defend myself liking unalak uh i am the only one in this fandom who actually uh likes unalak even though i fully am aware he's a bad guy now so what can i say i like bad people i guess <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's just get into part one and two here. As as usual with a part one and two episode, I say as usual, I change it up every time, but as usual with a part one and two as I'm trying to do here, uh, it'll be one episode and it'll be the only upload this week, uh, and then next week we'll go back to the normal schedule. Um, luckily enough for this, for, uh, for Legend of Korra, uh, Netflix actually points out when there's a two-part episode, so yay! Thanks, Netflix, for actually doing something good. But either way, let's just get into it, shall we? So in three, two, one, let's get going. Get back in your homes! Like, hey, if you won't, if you will not get back, we will force you back. We are doing a military occupation. <laughs> See, now I am still actually wondering why exactly is Unalak doing this? Now that you've opened the southern portal, we need to protect it from people who would do the spirits harm. I can protect it. I need you for something more important. Okay, well, he just explained it. Thank you. Thank you, Unalak, for explaining what I just asked. Now that you've opened the southern portal, your energy is stronger as well. With both portals open, our tribes will be united again. That... The world. That feels true, but also that feels like he's lying to her. <laughs> I don't know why he'd be lying to her in this situation, other than just to manipulate her to doing what he wants to do. But that feels accurate enough. Universe! Boomy, please, cover yourself. Well, looky here. <laughs> Vacation Tenzin has finally decided to join us. <laughs> your memory's a little foggy. Boomy and I weren't on those great vacations. It was always just Ooh. you and Dad. Ooh. Well, that's awkward. Ember Island? Those amazing sand palaces we built on the beach? You mean you built? We never saw the place. Ooh. Well, Tenzin, uh, that's pretty bad. That's really bad, the fact that Aang, um, forgot about his other two kids that weren't airbenders. There was a lemur fight, but the bison told us not to worry because a giant was coming. Then we almost got eaten by a shark squid. The shark squid? Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Sure. Eh. It all, the truth comes out in the end. She ran away. Honestly, I don't know why you kids can't just get along. <laughs> siblings. Siblings, Pema, that's why. Because siblings. Search and rescue missions are my specialty. What do you say we all go together? Sure. An actual family trip for once. Once and for all. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's the one time I'm okay with Milo. First time. It's shocking! Nay, sickening! But these kale cookies? Opposite. Remind me to get the recipe later. <laughs> Thank you, Varric. Thank you. Harbor lockdown? Who wants to buy a ship full of stinking fish? Stop breaking the plates, Varric. Seriously, it's not rhetorical. I need to sell these fish. That's true. <laughs> spirit I'm interested in restoring is our spirit of independence. Am I right, people? <laughs> you know, I don't disagree with Eric. Wealth. And I like my wealth. If Unalak doesn't pull his forces out, then we have no choice but to fight for our freedom. I don't think he necessarily wants your wealth. He probably wants something else. What it is, I don't know, though. He'll listen to what the Avatar has to say. That's not do wrong. for me. That, that's not wrong. I'll do it for the tribe. Yeah, this family needs some therapy. I hold immense dislike for the South. Pull in. Laugh at my humorous quip. That that was that was a laugh for sure. That that was a laugh. You know, I'll be really sad when you have to leave. It's been really great getting to know you. <laughs> uh, 
Bolin, right, what have you gotten yourself into? No, no, I'm not alright. I can't take anymore. Listen, I don't want to live in icy bliss with Eska. No, baby. Oh, no, please, please. <laughs> no, Bolin. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think she'd like that. Ending a relationship is kind of like pulling off a blood sucking leech. You just got to rip it off and get it over with. That's certainly one way of describing it. Yes, that's really one way of describing that. Not entirely wrong, but also that's one way of describing it for sure. Our next training session isn't until tomorrow. Sorry to interrupt. It's about our conversation this morning. Yes. Unalak, you just sitting here in the dark. <laughs> like, it's not making you look any less suspicious. A lot of Southerners feel like their tribe is being invaded. I am their chief. I'm uniting, not invading. But what's the difference at this point, though? Stop it. We? No, Korra. This is a war only the Avatar can prevent. Is it, though? I don't know, I feel like it can be prevented by just not invading the Southern Water Tribe. <laughs> Going favoritism will not help our tribes find unity. Hmm. Maybe Tenzin was right. Maybe I'm not ready to be the Avatar. Tenzin lacked I mean, you do still need a lot of training. That is, that is, that is just a thing. Thank you, Uncle. See, they, just, they should just have like a nice big meeting, you know, a nice conversation. Just talk. Just talk it all out, you know. You hoodlums think you're tough, huh? Pick on a waterbender your own size. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're starting to get some actual fighting here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. They're just some kids. Everyone, calm down. You're all part of the same tribe. Start acting like it. You're taking their side? We thought you were one of us. She's not taking any side. Go back to your homes. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. I... Cora. Hmm. Alright, I don't like her dad, but at least he's actually trying to be, you know, a, a, a town leader, a tribe leader here. So, like, at this point, he he, he and Cora should talk. Key, where are you? Over here, Dad! <laughs> Just <laughs> kidding, it's me! Uh, yeah, Boomy, we know. It is you. Probably my fault. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm guessing you've been so busy with your duty to Republic City that you forgot about your duty to your kids. Yeah, probably. Like Dad, he was so focused on saving the world and doing his duty, <laughs> don't laugh, that he never had time for us. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Aang was not a good father either. Sneaky <laughs> before dark. See what he's doing there, Boomy? He's Classic airbender technique. Cutting and running when things get tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there, okay. There's some definite family issues with all these people going on right now that they all need to just talk about because uh, they're having some issues. Can't he just let me be the Avatar? Uh, do you want advice or am I just supposed to listen? Still not clear on that. That is actually a very good question to ask, Mach, and That's a very, uh, very supportive question to ask. Break from all this Avatar stuff and we go out for a quiet dinner. Just the two of us. I don't know if that's even possible right now, given everything else. Of us. So Bolin. fun. Excuse us while we retrieve more sustenance. Bolin, what, what, why didn't you break up with her? But it won't come off. Why didn't you warn me your cousin had the power to reach into my heart and crush my soul <laughs> with her bare hands? Because <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty obvious. <laughs> Core's not wrong. <laughs> Man. Oh. Man, Bolin, you're having a time, aren't you? <laughs> Bolin's having a time right now. Woo! Scoured that beast of a mountain, fighting our way through blizzards, sandstorms, and three typhoons. Wow, three typhoons in a mountain. Wow. And how exactly is that supposed to help us find Iki? It was supposed to inspire you. Yeah. Clearly, you know yeah, Tenzin. About being a leader of men. Yeah, Tenzin. Supposed to inspire. I've thrown in an extra typhoon or two for dramatic effect, but. We're <laughs> arguing and bring that lantern over here. I found footprints. Yeah, they, they all they all need to just like communicate, and Tenzin needs to stop having these rose the glasses of his childhood. We're a couple of vendors. Fine. See, they're having some fun. Also, I'm a little surprised Boomy's not a vendor. That's a little upsetting. Boomy should be a vendor of some sort. You were right, Boomy. That was. At least 50 <laughs> times faster, <laughs> by my calculations. <laughs> See, now they're having fun. Now they're actually working like a family. I don't need your help. I've got everything under control. 
Yeah, sounds about right. That, that looks about right for Boomy. Here. Cora, what's going on between you two? Ask Dad. I've <laughs> tried, but he won't talk about it. Yeah, sounds about right. That, that That's the issue here. No one's talking about anything. How Dad got banished from the North? So. Yeah, it was all that true, though. Out. You knew. And you... Oh, it would appear as if it's, it's true, actually. ...against me when all I'm trying to do is help them. The problems the between that's the true. North and that the South true. started long before you were born. You can't expect to undo them in a day. Also true. That is also incredibly true. Dad is part of a rebellion? I don't know, but I don't want you getting caught in the middle of it. It's too late, Mom. I'm already mm. in the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, she actually literally is the middle of it, to be honest. That conversation didn't help anything at all, sadly. So what is the deal with her family? Uncle! I mean, I'm, I'll be honest, trapping her and basically keeping her prisoner for her entire childhood is not a normal childhood. What is happening here? Beyond, obviously, a civil war. What is going on here? Leave Unalak and go. I'll tell him I tried to stop you, but you escaped. We can still avoid a war. No, we can't. Yeah, no, there's no avoiding a war at this point. Like, it's gonna happen. Yeah, there's a lot more happening here than just Unalak wanting to train her in spirit bending. There's a lot more going on here. That's a cool move. Very cool move, Korra. Very, very cool move. It felt kind of like an Aang move there. Korra does have some sick moves, I will say. She has some sick moves. And also, I know there's technology the snowmobile. I don't know why, but the snowmobile keeps throwing me off. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And I know there's literally cars now, but the snowmobile seems weird this, to me. Dad? Don't know why. That's not your dad. Hmm. Thank you for saving my life. I okay, so her dad didn't get involved with this. No. But let them stand trial for what they did. Every yeah. Water Tribe citizen deserves that right. Yeah. A fair and just trial for everyone. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Those rocks were See, just, you know, talk it out. One bit since we were kids. You're still <laughs> trying to prove you can do everything a bender can. Well, you can't. Deal. That sounds like a soccer thing right there. Oldest of us, but you always acted like the youngest. <laughs> I had to become yeah. the responsible one. You think you're the responsible one? <laughs> Find yourself. It was time for you to settle down somewhere. You two have no idea how it feels to have the future of an entire culture on your shoulders. That is also true as well. That's what this is all about. That's what yeah, it's actually always it is. been about. Yeah, you actually think it is. you're some savior who has to carry on dad's legacy. Who else is I mean he kinda is though. I want you to come in the first place. I can't be around you two right now. Go back to the temple and see if Iki returned. I'll keep looking out here. Fine. Fine. See this actually very productive conversation. Argument, but you know, very productive. You know, families sometimes just need to have those arguments just to kind of get the stuff out they need to say and clear some stuff that needs to be said. I had no idea how far Varric was willing to go. Hmm. My brother okay. and I have our differences, but I would never attack him. I'm so Yeah, because he's family. After I saw mm. the Southern Lights return, I was so proud of you. I never should have held you back. Yeah. That's also true as well. Nah, that's very true. We would need you, and you wouldn't need us anymore. Mom, Dad. Mm. Of course, she's I still need you. need you. She's always gonna need you. You're her parents. You are under arrest and will stand trial. Trial? What? For what? For what? conspiring to assassinate me. What? What? That that came out of nowhere. Um, I don't believe that's true. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what are they talking about there? <laughs> um, I feel like some of the rebels might have lied to Unalak there. Huh. Let's see what happens in part two, shall we? Huh. There's a lot going on here. I believe you're doing this to your own family. Rest assured, I've appointed Judge Hota to oversee the trial. He is the most fair and honorable man I know. Well, yeah, but you know him, though. <laughs> So he's biased. Nothing to worry about. I hope so. Yeah, what is going on here? What is Unalak playing at? Yeah. 
I wasn't hiding. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not on the hunt for you. Currently. <laughs> Yet. I might be. Parents were arrested? Yes. Yes, they were. Your powers of deduction are impressive. <laughs> yeah, he's a cop. Varric's not here. I mean, he is a cop, actually. He actually is a legit cop. Me when I exit. Yes, yes, my sweet koala otter. <laughs> you are so cute when you grovel. <laughs> Bolin, you need to get out of this. Mako gave me terrible advice. Thank you, Mako. Wait, how are your girl problems my fault? That's also true. Make yourself scarce. Disappear like I did. <laughs> Where are you? Somewhere Unalak will never find me. Inside Ping Ping. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, thank you, Julie. Your assistant's in there too. Julie never leaves my side. What the hell? Sorry, sir. There isn't any in here. No, honey. We're in a bear for crying out loud. <laughs> He's not wrong. Thing for you, round back. <laughs> Wow. Now listen up. <laughs> this is too much, man. I'm willing to look the other way for a few yuans. That's true. I think That's I true. catch your drift, Varric Bear. I don't think you actually do catch his drift, Bolin. You can't even break up with your girlfriend. This is going to be a civilized breakfast. Daddy always says a blessing before we eat, so... <laughs> be quiet and listen up! <laughs> Because Milo and Janora aren't here because they stink. True. That's true. Good, good, good enough. Good enough. Julie, good enough. Or Iki. Not non Julie. Julie is the assistant Iki. For Lightning Bug. They're my new brothers and sisters. New uh -huh. ones, huh? Mm hmm. Can they be my new brothers and sisters too? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that's how family works. No, he's nice. <laughs> he's, it's okay. No, 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 he's nice. Yeah, they need to have some some family talks here, both both uh, both Tenzin and his siblings, and Iki and her siblings. They need to have some conversations here, as I keep saying. That's just the running theme of this episode: is hey, just sit down and talk to your people. Care of it, and then I winked. <laughs> Pretty sure they got the message. That's not how bribery works, Bolin. Man, I should have paid him. Yeah, Ye you think? Yeah. Bolin makes no sense, but that's kind of the charm of him. He is a cinnamon roll. According to Unalak's testimony, you attended a meeting where Varric tried to incite a civil war. Is that true? That voice is familiar. I'm gonna look that voice up. The, the voice of the, of the judge is very familiar. I'll ask you one more time. Where did the meeting happen? My parents' house. Yeah, the meeting happened at the parents' house. My parents are innocent! I've heard all I need to. I'll return you. shortly with my decision. Yeah, it's going to be in favor of Unalak because you're on the take. Like, you didn't actually get any type of anything out of Korra there. Other than just to say, yeah, no, they had the meeting there. Okay. I feel like that spark is fading. I agree. Okay, start. It is as if a great chasm has formed between us and nothing can bridge it. That's okay. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's fair. Except marriage. Uh, yeah, no. No, 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 no. We will wed at sunset. You may express your joy through tears. No, 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 Bolin. That's not the right thing. Bolin, just say no. Just say no. You can just say no. Forward. I have found you innocent. Okay, you that's free to go. Well, that's good at least. Thank, thanks. Mom, mom's innocent. Dad's gonna be found guilty though. You are all found guilty. Imagine that. The punishment Imagine that. for this crime wow. is death. Wow, imagine that, yeah, wow. Wow, imagine that. The, the judge that was brought on by Unalak is going to be uh, favoring Unalak. Wow, imagine that. Big shocker there. It's almost like Unalak's the bad guy. <laughs> you can't do this! You take their- I'm laughing at myself now, people. I'm laughing at myself now. Whatever decision you made, but I must ask you to reconsider. Show these men and my brother mercy. Okay. All right. Right. Your lives will be spared, but you will live them out in prison. Okay, that's not much better, but at least I'm not dead. Thank you, Uncle. That's something, at least. Mm. At least I'm not dead. You know, at least I'm not dead. But there's still a lot more here going on. Do it here. No one's yelling at me or 
Telling me I'm delusional? We should have Uncle Boomy and Aunt Kaya come visit. I bet <laughs> how I'm feeling. And Uncle Boomy yeah, is the like you. funniest Ew. person in the world. But what about Milo? He's hilarious too. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. That's very true. That's being part of a family, family is hard, huh, Daddy? That's family. I couldn't agree with you more. Yep. That's that's how a family is. You don't have to love them all the time, but you you do love them though. Not a family is they'll always be there for you. Exactly. Even though Twinkle Star Child and Princess Rainbow fight, they still love each other. Exactly. There we go. We learned the lesson. We learned a lesson about family. We'll come back and visit Blueberry Spicehead. I know you really bonded with her. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. It would be nice to just visit Blueberry Spicehead. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? I'm fine. Good. And let's bust you out of here right <laughs> That's not the right option, Cora. <laughs> That's not the correct option right now. Just promise me you won't do anything rash. Mm. Fine. She's going to do something rash. I promise. She will do something very rash, let's be honest here. This is Cora we're talking about. It's okay, Mom. I... I hate feeling so helpless. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that that is a is a powerful feeling to to feel, and it sucks. I can tell you that. Cora, what rash decision are you doing now? Also, Naga can catch up to a fully moving car. Good job, Naga. All right, this is all assault. Cora, you're assaulting a judge right now. That's a crime. And she'd like you to let my father out of prison. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Naga's hungry I right do. now. I was just following Unalak's orders. <laughs> wow, Unalak's a bad guy. Worked for your uncle for years. He said he needed everyone to think the trial was fair. So Dude, that was not a fair trial. Your father banished. What that all mean? makes sense. Okay. My father banished. The truth comes out. Keep talking. Yeah, we need we need some backstory here, my guy. We need some backstory. I'm sorry I didn't turn out to be an airbender like you hoped. But I've tried my best yeah. to keep the world safe. Hope I made you proud. Yeah, you'd be proud. Unalok's a liar yeah. and a traitor. I've been trying to tell you that from the get-go. <laughs> what happened? I found out the truth about my dad's banishment. Yeah, I guess Varric's hiding there still. Dad would go after them. Gotcha. Unalok that, wanted okay. your dad out of the way so he could become chief. Mm. It was a setup, just like the whole okay. trial. Yeah, that makes all sense. Okay, so, yeah, Unlock's a bad guy. I admit it. I admit it. He's a bad guy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, the honesty thing worked out great. So great that she decided we should get married. That's because you didn't follow through with the honesty. Crazy women is to lie big and leave fast. Lucky for you, <laughs> Varric's got your back. Now, gather around Ping Pong. God. Let's talk plan. <laughs> Bolden has gotten himself into a world of trouble, and I feel bad for him. My dad's in there. Unless he's not. I'm sorry, Cora. You'll never see your father again. Mm hmm. All right. And so Unalak has now fully admitted he's a bad guy now. Or was about to, I should say. Remember who you are. As the Avatar, you cannot threaten war. You must remain neutral, or our tribes will never find unity. Yeah, but Korra's not just a normal Avatar, though. <laughs> she's, a, she's an aggressive one. You got him banished so you could become chief, and I bet it just killed you to learn he was the Avatar's father. <laughs> Do that. Because you still need me to open the Northern Portal. No, Ooh. I don't. Okay, never mind. Served your purpose. Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, he just is the bad guy. Okay. I admitted I was wrong. I ignored the bad guy vibes. Because I didn't like Cora's dad. If we get to Varric's boat, we can still save your father. Let's go. Wow, I got there quick. They like, like, they like Batman out of there. <laughs> they just vanished. You just come through here. Julie, do the thing. <laughs> Bear is pooping money. <laughs> that is one way of distracting people. Yeah, on a ship headed north. Think we can catch up to it? Sure. Once you get us past our friends from the north. Well, it's time to destroy a blockade. Rain? Well, why didn't you say so? And we got one of those too. 
All right, then. He's supposed to take off. Julie! Take a note. Build runway. Yes, sir. <laughs> he put a captain's hat on. Varric is pure chaos, and I'm loving him now. Okay? I'm loving him. Now! Okay. Yeah. Rocket boosters on the ship. Or on the, uh, on the plane. That, that works. I mean, she's gonna avatar state for this. Okay. Okay. That, that worked, I guess. <laughs> I'm never gonna believe this. <laughs> okay, the very platypus better guys actually working, I guess. It's actually working. Well. Well, they weren't the plane. There went the crew. <laughs> Like, dude, Cora, just tell them. Crazy. You promised me you wouldn't do anything rash. I had to. I'll explain later. Uh, just explain now. Unalak bad guy. Unalak lying to everyone. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the air temple, Tenzin learns about family. Iggy, I'm glad you're back. Yeah. Sorry we made fun of you. Thanks. There we go. Yeah. Wanna play airball? Sure. Yeah. There we go. Siblings, yay, they made up. ...that were less than ideal. And yes, we're sorry true. for dumping our frustrations with Dad out on you. Yeah, you didn't deserve that. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That is Aww. one good-looking family, huh? That is a good picture family. right there. That's a good picture. Mm, that's a very good picture. I've been running from my past for too long. It's time to put my brother in his place. It's time for a fight. <laughs> But we'll need the united forces in order to win this war. Mm. All right. I'll get you all the help you need. All right, that's the best thing you can do. Staying neutral, but picking a side. Not being in the fight directly. <laughs> yeah, getting back to Tenzin, going back to Republic City, getting the president on your side, because there's a president now we got to worry about. What? I started a civil war. <laughs> exactly. Now Esk and I are officially broken up. Oh, looks like we have company. Oh, no. Hey, they're back. Oh no. Oh no. Would be my darling Eska. Quick question. Is this thing fast enough to get away from my crazy water bedding ex-girlfriend? Why do you think I built this boat? <laughs> <laughs> Bolin's got some issues to worry about. He he's got some some definite issues. I am going to watch the credits real quick just to see the uh, voices uh, da, 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 not on there. On the next page. Okay. Uh, who is the judge? Tom Kane. Of course, it's Tom Kane. Of course, it's Tom Kane. And of course, Nolan North in the episode because why would Nolan North not be in the episode? <laughs> Nolan North has to be in everything voice acting wise. That okay. That was good. That was good. I'm, I'm glad that I have changed my perspective on this season because the season is getting pretty good now. Yes, I will admit I was completely wrong about Unalak. Okay. I was wrong about Unalak. I admit this. <laughs> I admit it. He was. He was. He was saying a good story. Okay. He. He was selling a really good story. I bought into it. What he was saying, not necessarily wrong. <laughs> Cora does need to learn how to deal with the spirits as well. <laughs> but you know, in a different way. <laughs> you know, Tenzin's a better teacher. I. I understand. But to go with the whole theme of the season, the whole the whole entire theme of the season here, there's a lot of there's a lot of trust issues. There's a lot of trust issues. There's a lot of growing pains with the fact that Cora had a very sheltered childhood. She had a very very sheltered childhood, and she doesn't she she hasn't had the social experiences yet. She has not dealt with situations like this before. So understandably, she is kind of easily manipulated by people that allow her to be her and they're like yeah no we trust you to do your thing so that's understandable i understand i get it i get it unlock's still a bad guy though <laughs> unlock is a bad guy it is understandable now he is a bad guy in we weird weird motivations though not maybe not necessarily weird motivations like realistic motivations but in terms of just avatar villains i don't, know, I don't want to say low stakes motivations but like i don't know they, they, they 
the motivation of the Boondocks feel a little off, <clears throat> just a little bit. I hope we learn more about it later on, which I'm sure, I assume we will. But, like, going through all of this, like, rigmarole, that's a big word. Going through all of these plans, all these, like, backdoor manipulations to just take control of the Water Tribe. And then also get rid of his brother. And uh, Korra did explain it, I guess, I, I, in the best way. Korra did explain it, of, like, he was jealous of, of his brother for, you know having the avatar as his daughter uh i would assume so like it could all just be from jealousy unlock's a weird villain he, he's a weird antagonist right now i do hope we get a little more explanation for him because like his motivations are a bit odd but he's not he's not a bad villain right now he's definitely not a bad villain it's just the motivations are a bit odd but you know it's fine we're gonna get further in it's he, he doesn't need to be the best villain in the whole series he doesn't need to be that um, but everything else is cool. Everything else is cool. Bolin, man. Bolin's having time. I feel very bad for Bolin. I feel very bad for him. Um, just say no. Just, you know, I, I, this is something I need to learn too. Like, just saying no is a thing you can just do. You can, you can just very easily just say no, and it would be okay. <laughs> It'd be a lot better than any other situation you can be in. Just saying no. Though, clearly, Eska is, a uh, a bit more than just a saying no type person. <laughs> um, sadly but beyond all that um uh, beyond all that the other characters are still interesting enough um asami still feels like she's getting like a backseat to everything else um mako definitely feels like he's getting a backseat to everything else and uh, varic is funny okay bad first impression of varic a lot better second and third impression of varic <laughs> the whole platypus bear suit is what sold me to be honest i'll tell you it, it sold me on him varic is just pure chaos and he is um he he is fun he is very fun he is very very fun the other really good part of this whole thing the, the other very good part is uh honestly tenzin with all of his family stuff all the family stuff with tenzin is very good because it is a good b plot that that um helps with the a plot as well the a plot being Korra and her family issues b plot being tenzin learning about his family issues and realizing oh wait i'm not being a good brother to my siblings and uh wasn't that good of a brother when we were growing up and um yeah just trying to be a good father to his kids and kind of be like yeah no you you all you all should like each other you all like need to be there for each other and then of course the the siblings as well of kaya and boomy both at the same time kind of realizing like okay we we're, we're we're trauma dumping on you, Tenzin. It's not your fault that, you know, Aang kind of favored you over us. It's not, it's not your fault. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of just, like, family bonding stuff. And there's a lot of family. There's a lot of family in these two episodes. And this whole season, it feels like this is the whole family season of, like, that. that's the theme. That's the ongoing idea is, like learning like learning learning to accept your family for who they are good and the bad and also if they are very bad like trying to fix it um and just like fixing your family together and like just talking to each other being there for each other and just growing from it there's a lot of a lot of good therapy stuff in, in this season so far that i am i'm expecting them to build upon which i would imagine they would since they've already kind of laid the groundwork there a lot for that being what they're building upon so I'm very excited to see all that going forward. But those are two good episodes. Those are, those, that was a good two-parter. It it was a little weirdly paced, I will say. Just a little weirdly paced. Because like I, when I looked at my like recording time, I noticed I was like, wow, we're pretty much almost through the first episode. And like not a lot necessarily had happened. So I was like, huh, that's that's odd. And the second episode, it's like a lot happened in the second episode. I was like, oh, okay we're just done now i guess and like they weren't really doing much of the tens and stuff it, the pacing was a little was a little weird but that's it's it's fine it's not a big deal not not really that big deal because everything still it, it worked on me and that's just like some this is some little actual critique stuff as well it's like the pacing is a little off just because it's something I'm, I'm noticing a lot more now not just with this show but just pacing in general of shows i've mentioned this before in other uh, other reactions and reviews and stuff so pacing was okay but yeah that, that was a good two-parter that was a good two-parter and i'm uh, i am excited to see what's going what's going to happen going forward and uh uh, I'm appreciating going into this season now with a much clearer mind, <laughs> knowing what's happening kind of in the background of the idea of what's happening here. It's like I'm, I'm able to I'm able to enjoy it and appreciate it a lot more than I was pri uh, prior. So thank you all in the comments for explaining that to me and uh, for sticking by me. Thank you all. But either way, um, that's this episode. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this two-part episode. And uh, Unalak's a bad guy. <laughs> Unalak's a bad guy. So um, when did you realize that Unalak was a bad guy? <laughs> 
that's the joking answer i know as, as soon as he came on screen i understand but now let me know in the comments below what you think about this two-parter and all that good stuff as well and uh what would you do if you were core in this situation if you were the avatar in this situation in this situation what would you do that, 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 i think that's a good like you know question to ask just to see people's reactions and and thoughts about it. what what would you do in the situation if you were the avatar and you had to try and stop a civil war what what would you do so let me know that down in the comments below my answer for that is i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know because i'm not the avatar so that's a cop out answer but you know what i'm the one making these videos so that's what i can do either way if you like this video as well leave a like as well it helps out in the end and it helps uh show the videos more in the recommendeds for youtube the more we can find the channel as well and if you want to subscribe as well go ahead and subscribe you'll be notified of all the videos that i upload as well and you'll be here for the rest of the series as well as the longer form videos i'll be doing here soon and uh i'll be doing some reviews as well coming up as well and some other videos and stuff I'm trying to keep this a little evergreen and not date this as much but either way yeah uh if you want to see more from tonight go ahead and watch some more and subscribe if you want to see more, whatever here's gonna be a playlist of something else you can watch, go ahead and watch that too. And over here's gonna be a video that you can recommend for you as well. Until next time, just stay bending, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace, everyone. Peace.